Hockey isn't baseball. It's not America's pastime. However, it's still a popular sport across the country and among North America. When it comes to commentary in hockey, especially the National Hockey League, you have the familiar voices such as Don Cherry and Pierre Maguire. Now I'll tell you something about this guy. Well, you know, I don't whammo. This is only three minutes, eh? Yep. What if I told you there was another voice? One of the fans. One that sounded like you. Welcome to the Fourth Line Podcast, brought to you by the Hockey Raiders. This is November the 16th, 2015. With you today is myself, Carl, and the always wonderful Joel. Welcome back again, Joel. Thanks. We are taping during the middle of hockey games galore right now. The Fourth Line Podcast, hosted by Carl Landry and Joe Schnell, gives another perspective to popular hockey topics throughout the NHL. Carl himself has been a hockey fan since he was 10. He grew up in Canada, but lived where there wasn't much hockey. I didn't start following hockey really until I was about 10, uh, and I lived where there was no hockey team. I lived on the east coast of Canada, out in Newfoundland, and so I just picked random teams. I was a fan of the Flames for a bit, but that was the 90s where they were terrible, so I left them. It doesn't make much sense to cheer for a crappy team when you don't even live in the city. So switch to like the Coyotes, the Flyers, um, and then settled on the Avalanche. They were fun to watch. Through the past year, Carl has hosted the Fourth Line Podcast, a hockey-themed podcast he, his brother-in-law Gary, and their friend Dave started. The idea was first thought of by Gary and Dave. They asked Carl to join, and he was on board 100%. Um, they said, you know, you, you listen to a lot of them. Why don't you, uh, do you want to join? And I said 100% yes, and so we started that up. However, life happened, and the show lost Gary and Dave. But with the loss of Gary and Dave, the show gained Joel. However, there was one problem. Carl and Joel both lived in different parts of Canada. Producing a podcast seemed difficult, but the two found a way around it. Uh, We do it via Skype, uh, especially when it's just the two of us. We record that, produce it in audacity, um, especially if we have a guest on the show. We'll splice in their segment as well in audacity, any sound effects, our intro and outro music, uh, do that. It's pretty quick by now. With putting yourself out there comes the risk of not knowing if people will like what you make. Starting a new podcast with little to no training and not considering yourself a professional, Carl says the first few episodes only got about 20 views. Oh, 100% terrified. Um, when you start, especially like with us, we have no background, we have no training, we have no credentials. We're literally just, at the time, three guys who wanted to start a podcast and wanted to talk about hockey. And I'm pretty sure the only people who listened the first episode were our wives. Yet keeping at it, the Fourth Line podcast has allowed Joel and Carl to connect with listeners and create a community that at one time was a simple idea of three guys sitting around a table talking about hockey. They say that is what makes them different from the big shows. Got a fantasy football league, a fantasy hockey league, um, just all kinds of things like that that we've started up and interact with people. And that's that's really what I find is the difference is that, you know, the community that's built around it. People who listen to our show who've met each other through listening to the show is pretty pretty cool to see. So where does the Fourth Line podcast go from here? Getting sponsored by a network or just growing a bigger audience? Um, honestly, I have no idea uh, which is probably for one of the two guys running it probably not the ideal answer but it's really taken on a life of its own if you want to listen to the fourth line podcast you can listen to them on itunes soundcloud and tune in you can find them on twitter and facebook at the fourth line podcast with the number four thank you guys for checking us out this week and uh have a good one catch you later guys